One thing we love to talk about on this show is art, particularly on home day. But when it comes to hanging art, there are lots of ways to do it. So we've got Kimberly Selden with us right now to talk about some of the options out there. Hello. Hello. You're an art lover. I'm an art lover. Yes. You've got tons of clients with tons of art. I know. And everyone is in a different situation. Everyone's got a different home or a condo or apartment yes. to deal with. Yes. yes, and you and I love art, but we don't love hanging art. So I'm going to have uh, some easy never. ideas. Easy ideas. Up easy until ideas. probably three years ago, my daddy was coming over to hang the art in our house. Oh, I love that. Because yes. hanging art with your partner is like divorce. Ready. <laughs> it's like getting ready for divorce, right? Divorce fuel. I'm going to tell you about it happened recently. I had clients who had a downtown condo, nothing but glass. You know how like glass wall, Beautiful. glass wall. It's so pretty. Yeah. But where are they supposed to hang their art? The only wall has a TV and a fireplace. Right. So, because I'm such a clever little monkey, I found this ladder, <laughs> this freestanding ladder, and we placed it in front of one of the windows, oh. and we were able to hang beautiful artwork. And it's so easy, and you can rotate the art, you can move it around, and then because it works so well, we also had a client who had multiple doors in a hallway, yeah. and people kept going into the closet instead of the powder room, <laughs> which was just <laughs> awkward. <laughs> so we did the same thing in front of one of the doors, and yes. it's just, it's fantastic. Fantastic, and it's very affordable, uh, founded online, easy breezy. That's incredible. The good thing about this is if you are in one of those spaces where it's windows everywhere, looking at the back side of this is still lovely. Yes, You exactly know what I mean? Right. It's very clean, like there's not, there's nothing uh, too messy going on behind either. So exactly. It's like an art easel, which is beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about some other scenarios that you might have when you are hanging art that might make it a little tricky. Well, sometimes you have concrete walls and you don't have a concrete yes. drill and you're feeling like you just want to get it done. Or yeah. maybe you have that beautiful fireplace and it's tiled, but mm. you want to hang artwork. In that case, often we come from the ceiling. So we'll hang mm. something from the ceiling. This painting over here looks like it's floating in space magically, but I couldn't actually, figure it out. I know, right? It's just fishing line. There's fish So you can lines. completely hide how you have hung the painting. Can you see that? Actually, you still can't see it. It's hard to see, yeah. Yeah, but it's, I promise you it's there. Oh, there we go. It's you sturdy kind of... and it's strong. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. And then here we've got chain. So yes, so we can on... see that. Right, <laughs> yes. Thank goodness. Yes, the glasses are working. So depending on whether or not you want to show off how you're hanging it, You've got some options there. Yes. And I will say, I got these beautiful paintings, all original art from a fantastic gallery called Art Interiors. Yes. I've been going to this gallery for 30 years. The girls who own it started selling art out of the back of their car. Oh my Very goodness. Very affordable, not intimidating. So if you're one of those people who's intimidated yeah. by art, go, go there. there. Yeah, yes, go I've there. been there and it's lovely. They're yes. fantastic. <sighs> okay, so we've got the ceiling happening here mm -hmm. uh, to deal with the, these issues. What have we got there? Like those are, that's a great way to hang art that it, I don't think I've ever seen before in someone's so house. It's so pretty. So what we have are two pieces of acrylic and then these these plugs and they're called standoffs. Okay. And they come in different sizes and different finishes. Pull that up for us. We but want to get a shot of that. It's just a way that you could pull oh. your artwork away from the wall, make it look like it's floating. And sometimes what happens, we have clients who have beautiful pieces of art, yeah. but they frame them in 1980 and they yes. look really tired. And so this is a way of re-energizing it, yeah. giving it some interest. And it's great if you have a bright colored wall, fun wall, or even wallpaper. It looks yeah. amazing. You know what else it's amazing for? Yeah. Well, you know how your kids make such beautiful art from about kindergarten all the way to like grade <laughs> seven? Yes. And there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. It used to go all over the fridge with magnets, all which we over never do anymore. Yeah. But that, that's a nice way to right? do it. Because it's easy to, to undo and then put a new exactly. art piece exactly. art piece in there, right, for your kids. <laughs> okay, moving right along. I love what's happening there, but tell me what is happening these there. These are so cute. They're wooden trays. So if okay. you're having a party, you can use these for hors d'oeuvres. Or you can stick a Velcro tag on the back, you know, peel and stick kind of thing. Oh, my god! And you could adhere artwork in a really, you know, professional, strategic manner, like I've done here. Like with, with the duck tape. painter's tape. Isn't that beautiful? Show us the other side of it, of that. So you're using one of those uh, command strips, it's, and it's Velcro. Exactly. And then is that literally a tray for food? It's literally a tray for okay. food. It was like <laughs> dollar store, $1. Oh, that's but good. It, again, it's just a really fun way yeah. to maybe be able to display 
I think I've pulled this on and off so many times it's not sticking it right now. Be, it, oh, Fun way go. to display artwork for kids. Now, this is professional artwork again. Beautiful. For sure. I love that it just gives it new energy and it fills the wall a little bit more yeah. because they might be too small on their own. Totally. And, and I love doing framed, it in multiples. Kind of heavy. So fun. And you can change it up. Postcards as well. Postcards. Which is really nice when like you, you can display your travels. Okay. Uh, very cool there. Just uh, suspension cables. Suspension cables. Right? Nice. And the advantage again is that you can switch out the art as often as you like. You don't have to put new holes in the wall. And speaking yes. of holes in the wall. Yeah. I'm the worst when it's time to hang art because I just want to, I'm just lazy. So I just yeah. want to like slam, <laughs> slam a nail in the wall and then before you know it, it looks like a shooting range target <laughs> practice right before. So I found this amazing hack. You want to know my amazing hack? What's your hack? I'm going to show you my hack. All right. I want to fiddle around with where I want to place a painting. Mm -hmm. I've got a painter stick here. You keep talking. I'm just moving that. Has my necklace been hitting the microphone? That I'm hearing it. So. Didn't even happen. <laughs> I've got this painter stick here with a screw in it. Not a nail because the nail moves around. A screw is sturdier. Okay. I'm going to put the back of the screw underneath the hook on the piece. Okay. Then I can move it around wherever I want it and go, oh, this is where I want it. Give it a little shove and yeah. you can mark the wall with the screw. Oh. Take it away, and you know exactly where the nail goes. So you just give it a little genius, and then if it's not right, you haven't made a whole hole. Exactly. You just made a little dent, and you can move it around. And say, oh, I like it there, an inch higher, an inch lower, oh, right? That's like so good, so easy. I love it. Okay, super quickly, if you've got the two hooks on two sides of oh, a painting, what do we this do about is that? Genius. This is a hard one, right? I yeah. used to try to measure. Take a piece of painter's tape, mm -hmm. mark. It where you're going to put the holes where the top of the rings are. Yep. Take the painter's tape off. Yep. Put that on the wall and where now you want we know. it. And now you know put exactly there, where the holes are going to go. Oh boom. my gosh, genius. Boom, boom. Isn't that Such lovely? Such easy ways to have right. them hung correctly every time. Every single time. Kimberly Seldon, thank you for that.